Look at the shirt. Thunder thighs. Yeah. Leg day thunder thighs. Okay. Low bar. Uh, 225 there. We are stimulating. And again, for her, those quads. Boom. Nice. Look how much those legs have grown. Too. And that's the change up on the form this year. And also just getting that nervous system fired up at the beginning of our workouts. Great. Three reps. Keep going. Four. Oh, yeah. Good posture. Girls, that bar, I know you guys are going to not like it. But that bar, stay there, rack it. Ooh. Stay there, stay there. I just want them to understand where this bar is because they're going to be confused. Rear delt rests on it below the trap. Okay, so again, that's where the bar should go. If you don't get that mus much muscularity, it's going to be tough. You're flat back. In time. In time. In time. So also explain to them. Oh, low bar. do this. What is low bar hit? What is high bar hit? Again. So they they both can hit everything. Okay. Um, do me a favor, though. Put it right on the trap because that's how most people squat. Right there. That's where you guys all pick up the bar. Okay. And this is going to be more focused on your quads. Rack that's stack. That's what I'm saying. Now, the other thing is, which I don't like about this, is the fact that uh, the ultimate goal here is to be able to squat for the next 30 years. Yeah? Correct. <clears throat> and, and doing damage to your spine or your knees is not beneficial. For the short haul. I've seen it a lot <laughs> to a lot of different people. They're right. crushed by 40, so they can't really squat yes. anymore. Right. And again, they'll blame it on the squats instead of their stupidity of not knowing how to squat. How to squat, their right supplements, your joint support, like I said in the video, like stuff is going to prevent, Yeah. you know, getting crushed. So Spit it, Mo. Uh, Go. <laughs> All right. So we're starting with... A heavy weight today to get something fired up. Well, <laughs> obviously, fired up. we're seeing that the dry out <laughs> is working. It's working. So these guys don't know, but they'll see on my page and your page that we are finishing up today's Friday. Tomorrow is basically the show, the stage, the class reunion, the wedding, the 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 vacation. Want to take the shirt off? That's what tomorrow represents. Right. So with that being said. Yeah, today's a, if you're drying out, today's a day off. Day off, guys. Why are you training? I mean, come on. Okay, exactly. On. I, I live with you. <laughs> okay, exactly. You, you, yeah. All right, so just so you guys understand and it's not confusing to you, we're training today. You should not be. This goes back to the point of do as we say, not as we do. We have to keep going forward. The majority of you have never done a dry out before, and so we just want you to do it perfectly. We're going to fatigue the body. Right now, we should be resting. That way, we're ready for tomorrow's shoot or something. We're not going to do that. We're no, going to train I'm today. Hit legs. And I'm not going to lie, I'm hungry right now. <laughs> you're hungry, <laughs> which is amazing because you're doing the fill out. And yeah. so you took in more carbs today yeah, than, than normal. You see, your body is just changing constantly. You know, it's so cool. Yeah, it is so cool. 30 day blitz into this, it's pretty badass. It is. Well, hey. Understand. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's also you're doing 225, which is not lightweight for a female. Um, leg development. I freaking love how much your legs have just. Guys, we're talking about Miss Universe years ago, and she's better today. Again, I'm trying to force that down your pipes on this one because of the fact that you can still get better. All quads. Guys, get out there, perform this exercise. Look at. Her quads, and she's drying out so much that the actual spandex are loose between the glute and the hamstring because she's so tight. That is awesome. Go, go again. Crush it. Nice. Walk it in. Woo! Almost stay there. Just stay there. Just because you, you, they freaking look like stallion legs. I love that. <laughs> love that. 
no, I don't want to get muscular. Then don't. Then don't, don't go train. Right? <laughs> I love everybody because I'll guarantee everybody that's following you are diehard like beasts. Oh, yeah. Like Terminators. Yeah, girls and boys. So, hooey, feels good. Where are they going? They're going hiking. They're going hiking? Two times a week. Twice a week, they go up for the whole day okay. up to Big Bear. Can I say if you guys don't follow Strikers World, yeah. Strikers World, yeah. please do so you can see what this guy is all about. <laughs> okay. Mo, I think we gotta get Botox. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna... Hey everybody, we're gonna get, hey. oh, look at this guy. See you guys. Have fun. Get video. We're going to tell you all about them. Bye, guys. Have a good day at school. Okay, I just saw her do a set. How far down do I want you to go? Yeah, Touch the ground. Okay. But, but, no, no, because I just saw you do this. And, and I'm going to argue the point. Because technically, I think I'm more flexible than you are. And I can barely get past my knees doing this correctly. So this is straight leg, but this is old school straight leg deadlifts well, it, for the knees, hamstrings. Are my knees curved in at all? Yeah, they're bent. They bent? Are these okay? Hold on, guys. Are those bent? They're a little bit bent. Yeah. Not really. No. Okay. There, there you go. There's straight legs. Now, the next thing is, upper body is holding the weight, right? Right. Does it? Does the upper body need to go all the way down and go all the way up to work the hamstring? I feel like no. Does the ass need to go back and forward to work the hamstring? Yes. There you go. So that's the difference between what you were doing. School. You are in school. I'm yelling at you. Okay. You're see. messing it up. Let's Come on. See. So we got the so, so show them without the bar. Do one rep okay. like you were doing before. Now, um, uh, guys, I'm gonna do one rep first of all, now that you do this, put a plate in front, okay? You could do a, a board or some kind of plates. Get your toes up. So I was doing this. There you go. And to everybody watching right now, they're going to say, that is great. That's that is great. Like straight that. leg deadlifts. Okay. Your back straight. You're working your hamstrings. Absolutely wrong. It, it is an option. But here's the problem with the option you just did. Uh -huh. They're going to load up a freaking load of weight. Yeah. Now, that's not the point of it. We're doing hamstrings, we're doing a glute hamstring tie-in, and we are trying to develop it. But the problem is you just did squats, leg press, leg extension, leg curls, walking lunges, and now we're getting to this point. And if you still got that much gas in the tank to lift 500 pounds doing straight leg deadlifts, then you're not training hard enough in the beginning yeah, of the workout. That was only 60% in the gym? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, That's what Mike says. Only now, 60%. grab the bar, heels in a little bit, Toes out, bring your feet in closer. There you go. So again, okay. heels in a little bit, toes out, open up the hips. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. Now, now, the, this is what I would like you to do. Nope, because all right now, all you're doing uh -huh. is leaning over and standing back up. Okay. So don't lean over and stand back up. Okay. Ready? Wait for them to see this. Throw your ass back. More, 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 more. Now pull your ass in, all the way in. That's what I want. That's what I want. And then pull it back in. Good, range of motion. I'm not even for that and I feel it. I know, see the difference? Yeah. No weight and you already feel it. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. But Jeffrey and Serge never listen. No, they don't. All, all right. right, here we go. Ass back. Nice. Is that close to what you think? Yeah, that's pretty beautiful. Okay. Don't worry, that's not her stomach, guys. That's the weight on the other side. But I have bad eyesight. Keep going. I don't know if it was a smart idea to do 135, but I'm going to suck it up. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, I like that. Good set, Mo. So you guys watching this, you should be able to see, obviously we're getting a good stretch that ass is just elongating. I tap that. Okay. Ah. Um, suggesting 
guys understand how big the first piece and why. And then what I'll do is, like I'm on stage, right? I'll rotate those knees out. So instead of instead of the knees going forward like this, I'll rotate it out here. And now I'm going to incorporate the glute and ham. So right now I'm flexed. I'm already flexed right now. The glute and ham. So everything else is relaxed. Then the next thing I'll do is I'll lean over. Okay, now see, in this posture, that right there is already stretched. And so some of the greatest lifters I ever trained with, like Tom Claz and so on and so forth, did different options of this. Um, and most of the time you see Tom Claz's photos, it's straight leg deadlifts because it's all the way to the ground or past the bench because it looked really freaking cool because his hamstrings were amazing. And in that position, so what you guys missed out, all of you, most of the guys my age, you missed out on actual exercises that are performed differently because they didn't look good in photos. Understand, magazines had to do, oh, this is the greatest angle, here's a great angle, boom. Right. And so you guys at home, if somebody was doing straight legs like Tom Class, and this is all he was doing, be like that's not even an exercise so that's why I was saying that I am more flexible than Mona but that's as far as I can go so the two things I'm doing is elongating is I'm not trying to move my upper obviously I could do this that's not a big issue you know that's not a big issue but if you're incorporating them and keeping them tight and now you're pushing it back so you're not going over here you're pushing the ass back Look at that butt. I'll tap that. <laughs> so that's that's really stretching it. And then kja. That's uh, right. Uh. Oh boy. That's it. Oof guys, so look at that. That was a good, good lesson for all of you. Yeah, you should be thanking me, not Mike, because it's my YouTube. Alright, this is a follow-up. So now she understands because she was watching it. I understand that you and uh, Tom Claus did back in the day. Oh, Tom Claus. <laughs> so now that her feet are closer together. All right, heels are in. Heels are slightly in. Yeah. Knees are out, not yep. rotating out. So flex your legs like you're on stage. Stand like you're on stage. Don't you have to do this thing with the fingers? I don't know what they... I don't do this. You don't do that kind of thing? No, this. Can you do what the guys do? Why do they bounce? Why do oh, the, phys the physique, the physique guys? guys and the classic guys bounce know, around? Danny imitates, Hester, tell me. My brother imitates them so well, he makes me laugh. You guys are mad that I put lotion on my face and you guys are bouncing around on stage. The hypocrisy yeah. of this. The hypocrisy. Yo! Yeah. Um, All right, Momo. Pick it up. Set yourself. Flex the hamstrings and glute before even starting. And now. Kick the ass back. Don't worry about touching the guy. Kick the ass back. Nice. Good. And rotate the ass underneath and in on the way up. Squeeze. There. Woo. Nice. Really stretch. Going backwards, not down. So I guess that's the main thing, guys, for you guys to understand. You're stretching this way. Yo, right there. Bounce it. Bounce it. Oh, oh, I almost nothing. Wow. <laughs> right? Go again. Oh, that's all I got for you. Do you want me to stand in front of you? Oh, God. This video. If this doesn't get edited down and you just leave it. No, I'm going to leave it. You're going to leave it. Oh, boy. It's my uh, We're going to get blocked by YouTube. <laughs> Have a good day.